So, Sam, as you have mentioned, uh, the far-right parties, uh, they are progressing uh, uh, quite uh, importantly in Europe. However, uh, it is very hard for them to make a coalition. I will just mention uh, the last attempt uh, by Viktor Orban from Hungary, and he doesn't want to be in the same group as some other right-wing parties, so he is creating one of his own. So I presume that in the future, contrary to the center-left or to the center-right parties in the European Parliament, we will have several far-right parties, and they cannot unite, they cannot have a common voice, so I don't think that they will have a big influence on the European policy. Mm. You spoke about a common voice. I mean, domestically in France, uh, as you and Mandy were discussing, a record turnout. What is that telling us about what French people want right now, how they feel and what they're after in a government? So there was a, a very big push for the right-wing parties. Uh, there were two items that were putting on the table. The first one is the standard of living. And uh, this it was uh, uh, quite uh, uh, devastating uh, for a large part of the population in France. And the second one is about security and also immigration. So there are the two elements that the right-wing parties are putting uh, forward. And uh, Marine Le Pen, uh, in her speeches, she is always putting the emphasis on the standard of living and security. Hmm. And if indeed those are the priorities, at least as far as the campaign rhetoric goes, if the far-right National Rally Party does gain a relative majority, how might policies actually change? So that would be very difficult uh, because they will not uh, be in the government. And uh, Jordan Bardella, who is the leader, uh, with Marine Le Pen of the National Rally, has repeatedly said that he will not be a prime minister if they don't have the absolute majority. According to the different polls, they will have a relative majority, so everything depends what is the number of seats that they will miss in order to have absolute majority in the parliament. If it is just a few uh, seats, they would be in a position to attract some of the people who are not belonging to the same uh, uh, national rally. But if it is maybe 20 or more, that would be very difficult. And this is what uh, Macron believes, uh, that he has a window of opportunity in order to form either uh, like a technical government or to form uh, a minority government with the support of the, uh, of the nation, of the front, of the, that is the new popular front, and in that case, they can support him without necessarily voting uh, for the government that he can put in place.